Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at your rest of the year predictions and guidance, okay? So we're going to be taking a look at the months from July to December 2023. What's happening over the rest of the year for you? Uh, Please be aware this is general. The messages may differ for everyone watching, so just only take what resonates and leave the rest. And of course, this reading will also include guidance for the rest of the year ahead. So now I'm going to show you your crystals for pile number one. We have Amazonite. For pile number two, we have Amethyst. And for pile number three, we have Citrine. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. And if you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I will see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose this Amazonite crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your rest of the year predictions and guidance. So from the month July 2023 to the month December 2023 we're kind of going to be seeing what happens there for you and what guidance your spirit guides have for you for the rest of the year so you chose the card radical expansion I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards but please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching okay my pile number ones for your cards we have transformation We have home, we have furred and feathered friends, and we have fire with Solaris Sublime. Okay interesting for you uh we have the three of cups okay i love this starting out with your tarot cards this card is such a beautiful card to get okay then we have the queen of cups we have the chariot We have the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, I love this for your rest of the year predictions. <laughs> Looking good so far. And then lastly, we have the Strength card. Okay, my pile number one. So now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly how your rest of the year pans out. So I'm seeing your rest of the year predictions from July 2023 to December 2023. Um, I am kind of seeing a series of events that happen like a domino effect for you, my pile number ones. So whatever I say in the beginning, creates like this butterfly effect and creates the circumstances or events to happen that I'm seeing towards the middle-ish end of the year like towards so how do I put this in words the energy I'm going to describe first is happening from July to about August time I feel and then after August time, because strength card is, the strength card is really standing out to me in some way. 
after August time, around Leo season, you're going to see the next series of events happen in the other quarter of the rest of the year. I hope I'm making sense. So basically what I'm going to explain first is going to create a domino effect or a butterfly effect or a chain reaction for the series of events to happen towards the end of the year after August Leo season. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in your reading. Um, and I also want to say the future is not set in stone, but it is merely used as a guideline to help us. So anything I say here that you do not like, you always have the power to change the possibilities of what may happen based on your choices. Okay, so what I do see here happening in your rest of the year, I see a lot of heart healing taking place. Firstly, from July. So from July, Spirit is, Spirit is really making these butterflies stand out to me here. There's something happening within you where you may go a little bit into your cocoon and you may feel this happening already where you're going into your cocoon a little bit going into hermit mode is something i'm hearing even though we don't have the hermit card here this is what i'm hearing so it's like you're kind of going into your own shell to spirit is showing me spongebob and the snail that, I think his name was Gary, if I'm not mistaken, the snail that Spongebob had. And Spirit is showing me it really funny and cute as a description of what I'm trying to say. So uh, Gary, the little snail, sea snail, goes into his shell and is looking into his shell and seeing what he wants to change about his shell. So he's sweeping the inside of his shell. He is clearing out all that needs to be cleared out in the shell to make his home perfectly ready. So this could be a metaphor for the healing that is going to take place within your heart space. And as a result of that, as I say, taking out the things you don't want in your home, it could actually lead to you redecorating your home or moving home later on in the year. Um, I'm seeing like moving boxes. So you could be getting rid of things you don't necessarily want in your physical world as well and kind of build your world around you first. Does that make sense? So I'm seeing that, but it could also be a metaphor for the heart healing that takes place. So I see it can be a message for the physical world, but also our emotional world. And like I said, you are going into your cocoon and you're going to be in your cocoon a little bit. Feel the feelings that are needed in order to release from your heart space. With the Radical Expansion card, we see lightning here and storms. That, to me, that is heavy, heavy emotions that need to come out. Just like when we are redecorating our home. We can't put new furniture on top of the old furniture. So it's like you're clearing whatever is not needed for this next journey. Because I do see some kind of new beginning energy here after this transformation takes place. It's like you're clearing whatever is no longer needed out of your heart space. So it can truly be open and shine and it can truly have space for what matters most. Love. Okay, so um, I used this metaphor last time, but I see it here. So think of your heart like a plant pot, right? And your heart now has little holes in the bottom of this pot due to heartbreak, due to loss in your life, due to grief, people hurting you, and your heart suffers through it all, right? Not physically, but emotionally. And think of it like it has little holes in it each time it's been hurt. And this little plant pot is a metaphor for your heart. And when we pour water into this pond pot, 
and there are holes at the bottom. The water is going to slowly seep out and the plant may not be able to absorb all this water or keep all this water in it. I know it's usually how gardening works. I'm not really a gardener myself, but Spirit is just showing me this is a metaphor. If we want our hearts to fully absorb the love that is around us, the nurturing that is around us, we need to be able to be open to receiving that. And sometimes when our heart is full of things that are no longer serving us, it can get a little bit clogged up like a home with things that aren't important to us anymore, with these emotional pains that we no longer need to carry. And I'm hearing the song Bag Lady by Erica Badu. So it's like you're releasing the baggage within your heart. And I'm not saying that you need to be fully healed to be loved. That is not at all what I am saying. I am just saying that spirit is preparing you for a next chapter of your life. A next chapter that is going to be so bright and so full of love that your heart is going to need that extra space. Do you get what I mean? Just like when we move homes, we need to get rid of the old furniture to bring in the new furniture. So I see this as like you clearing out your heart space and it takes some courage to do this since we have the dragon here. It sometimes takes a little bit of courage to look into and to feel the things that once hurt us. But those feelings, just sitting with them, are our greatest teacher. And here in the Queen of Cups card, I see this being a little bit of a different meaning. We see her taking out her heart's contents and putting it into this cup. And usually I would see that as being generous to others like us giving our blood as a donation, for example. It's seen as a generous offer in this specific Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups usually represents someone that is so empathic, someone that feels things very deeply, um, someone that is very generous and loving and their heart is so open to giving. And that is the depiction here. So... But in this case, I see this as you being compassionate towards yourself. You kind of like releasing things from your heart, in this case with the context of what we've said, releasing things in your heart and putting it somewhere else. And that could be a metaphor for something. So you could actually release the contents within your heart that are no longer needed into journaling into therapy, into art therapy, where you draw or write what you're feeling and leave it in a specific object where it's no longer, you're no longer carrying it in your heart. Do you get what I mean? So I see that as like a metaphor here for something that will help you feel these feelings without it being too much um, and putting it elsewhere so you no longer have to carry it. And I feel here as you start to heal your heart and you are going into your cocoon, you are starting to transform internally and externally. And you start to transform the way you maybe looked at the pain from the past, where you freely, I wouldn't say let it go, but... Like I said, with the moving boxes image, it's coming back to me. So it's like you're putting those contents of what you no longer need in those moving boxes, giving it away, say, saying, I no longer want this feeling of heartache and asking for the universe to restore your heart so that your heart is able to feel the love around you and able to have space for that and ask for healing and then it's like your heart starts to transform and expand and I see that once you feel those feelings and release them 
it's like you start to look at it differently. And I'm not sure how you begin to look at it, but I'm seeing you begin to look at it differently where something has transformed within you in future you. And I'm hearing the month seven. So this is going to be a quick transformation for most of you. And this these series of events may already be happening. So I'm hearing July is when it ends. And July the seventh month is a very lucky month. The, the number seven is very lucky and it's associated to spirituality. So I see this as the universe spiritually transforming you putting you in your cocoon so you can grow your butterfly wings and then after in Leo season now spirit is showing me you, those butterfly wings come out and you're no longer in that healing isolation now you're ready to share your wings with the world spirit is showing me Barbie Mariposa as a metaphor for this example because Leo season is really when we stand out and we shine so I see this as like the healing you do now influences this transformational period and it allows your butterfly wings to shine and come out. It's like the universe spirit is doing work on you, healing work on your heart during these next few months and... I maybe even see it as your angels because this dragon has angel wings and it's like the universe is preparing you for something bigger. Here with the rainbows, I see this as like the rainbow after the storm and all these stars here to me remind me of the star card which represent healing. But back to my example of Mariposa, um, I think it was the first movie where she kind of like went on these series of events to do something and then she wanted butterfly wings and then at the end of the movie I think she got butterfly wings and in the second movie where she it was Barbie Mariposa and then Mermaidy I think and then she went down to the mermaid world she transformed into a mermaid and she was the, that Queen of Cups energy in that movie, that second movie, because she sacrificed her wings to be able to save the other mermaids and transformed into a mermaid willingly. And then after that, I would suggest maybe you go watch those movies if you're interested. Maybe also some inner child healing if you enjoyed Barbie movies as a kid. But... Anyways, I just see the, the movie like as a metaphor because after she did that heroic thing, she went back and I think she she drank some type of potion or no, she didn't drink a potion. She ate one of their fruits from the mermaid world and those fruits, different fruits have different magical properties that can do different things. So she ate a fruit that would allow her true self to come out and she was like, what if I am not a fairy? What if my true self is not a fairy? And after that, she eats that and she gets even bigger butterfly fairy wings than she had before and it's so beautiful and it's so big and her fairy wings are even bigger than most fairies there in her fairy world so it's like I see that as a big huge transformation that's taking place where you are really going to evolve in these next few months from now to like the seventh month July and this huge transformation takes place where you really have to be a little bit compassionate with yourself, with the healing. Where you have to be a little bit allowing of yourself to just feel things. Because it's like whatever feelings are coming up right now, it's so that your heart can be healed. And I'm seeing the reason why this is happening why these series of events are happening, it's to push you into this huge transformation because the universe is preparing you for something greater. 
And what I see happens after the series of events, after this evolution within your soul, I see a shift taking place. And Spirit is clairvoyantly showing me this image. I'm going to try to find it. It's an artwork by someone I follow on Instagram. But Spirit is showing me that poem she made with it to describe the healing that takes place for you. Okay, so the poem is from Alexis Rakan. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. If I'm not, I'm really sorry. But I follow her on Instagram and she's such an amazing artist. Her, her work is very fairy-like, very mermaid-like. <laughs> so this may be like my magical pile, I don't know, or my pile of people that resonate with mermaids and fairies. Um, but her work is really mystical and beautiful. So the poem is called Growing Pains and it's, it's, the words are, nobody ever talks about this part. You know, the part where you're no longer a caterpillar and not yet a butterfly. You don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. All you know is that every fiber of your being is calling for transformation, for disruption, for a revolution of the spirit. So surrender, break down. This is not the death of you. This is the dying of who you once were. This is your rebirth, darling. And these are called growing pains. So I see the message from spirit is to be compassionate to yourself during this space of growing pains, during this space of transformation, to not be too hard on yourself in terms of the physical, to allow yourself to feel, to surrender to what you feel. And you being compassionate to yourself is going to actually bring on so much more healing where that transformation takes place quicker. Like I said, I see future you having this transformation take place by July. That's a very quick transformation if we're talking about emotional healing. Or this could be your last bit of emotional healing. But I see it like future you has already taken these steps of surrendering and being compassionate with yourself to just feel whatever you're feeling. And then I see it like you're being crowned by the universe with this third card, her having a crown. Um, and that allows the rest of the chain of events to happen. So... I really feel the message to be compassionate to yourself, to be loving to yourself, to take it easy on yourself over these next few months, because that's actually going to allow the transformation to take place quicker, if that makes sense. And I see you being, after this transformation takes place, I see you going through an internal shift in your heart space where your heart space has actually expanded and grown bigger and your heart is now bigger metaphorically to allow more space of what needs to the love that needs to come in and I see you feeling really blissful after the seventh month going into Leo season and like I said, you're like that Barbie Mariposa. <laughs> now you have your new wings and you're getting ready to show them off to the world. And I don't know what these new wings represent, but I see that as like you standing out in some way, you becoming that butterfly or you transforming into the person you've always wanted to be. And this is what the healing creates a chain of events towards. I don't know who you've always wished to be, but I see you transforming into your dream self. Okay, so I just feel here the guidance for this, like I said, to be compassionate to yourself. Um, your guides are reminding you that you're never alone through this. To allow yourself to feel surrender to the feelings that take place 
don't be afraid of the big emotions because the big scary emotions are what teach us the most and you're going to see a lot of the things this is for some of you maybe not all of you a lot of the things you maybe get triggered by are from childhood so or from your early years so for example let's say you get triggered or angry about something you actually explore that trigger with courage as we see in this dragon and we also have the strength card lions also represent courage and strength we also see a lion here <laughs> some of you may be leos i don't know um, or you may be very connected to lions, um, but lions represent strength and courage and sometimes it takes a little bit of strength and courage to look into the scary emotions and see where they come from and ask them why are they feeling that emotion so intensely, what does it lead back to and you're going to see that it's basically your inner child tugging on you saying I'm feeling like this and... I don't want to feel like this anymore and it's because of this so I see it's like your advice or your guidance for the healing is to talk to yourself when you're feeling something talk to yourself like you would to your best friend and be like hey how are you feeling today what's up um even if you do this while journaling if it's easier for you or singing out your feelings to music that's another idea i see from spirit here or doing something creative going back to what your inner child once loved to do while you are exploring these emotions like i said art therapy could be good for some of you so that is the guidance i see from your guides and your ancestors now i see them giving these messages now but I also see them saying these series of chain of events are of healing are going to bring on what you've been waiting for what you've been asking for the universe for and it's going to allow you to come into alignment with that I don't know what you've been asking for the universe for but I see immense Things happening quickly after August with the chariot card. I see you growing very quickly. I see you being crowned by the universe in some way. And I see these series of chain events happening like a new beginning of something you can really see as an adventure. I said a next chapter of your book. I don't think this is a next chapter of your book. I think this is a completely new book where you get to create the world you want, where you see it as an adventure, as a new beginning to jump into. And like we see on this rainbow here, <laughs> she's on this rainbow and it's reminding me of a movie I watched last night where... I don't know what it was called. I think it was Mario Brothers <laughs> where they were like driving on that rainbow and they were driving so fast. So, and this is the chariot card representing fast movements. So it will be like you're driving on this rainbow so fast and going towards where you want to be, what you've been asking the universe for. And for some of you, it could be a wish. For some of you, it could be a dream. For some of you, it could be many different things. But what I do see this transformation leading to is to you. I see a lot of travel for a lot of you. I see you traveling. Um, I see a lot of you finding that passion or spark back within you. Because we have the strength card here. And I see this as like what happens after Leo season. You've gained strength. You have really empowered yourself and the amazonite crystal is also a crystal of healing so i see that and i i'm hearing loyalty i'm seeing after august something in your connections is going to change so this heart healing influences your connections but i also see it like you're going to have more loyal connections around you because that's what 
Leo energy reminds me of. And you're going to really see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's like you're going to get your spark back with the fire card. Um, you're going to gain real empowerment in yourself. We even have dragons here. Is that not interesting? I want to actually see what dragons are symbolic of since they're showing up twice in your reading. Some of you may have dragon guides or lion guides. So dragon represents power, change, spirituality, and it also symbolizes good luck, fortune and prosperity. In some cultures, the dragon is a protector and is often associated with royalty. Here we see a crown. So some of you may have dragon guides that protect you if you're drawn to that. If not, that's not your message, then it's okay. Uh, some of you may have lion spirit animals around you. But like it said, good luck, fortune and prosperity so I also see this series of events happening and influencing a change within your money and your career. So what I do see happening is you getting your spark back, you feeling empowered in yourself, you realizing your strength, you letting go of that old part of you and transforming into this new version of yourself of who you've always wanted to become. And I just see your spark coming back, your fire coming back. And as I speak, the outside is actually becoming more light, where the sun is shining more. <laughs> so I see it as like a beautiful shift of events that happen. And what I do see happening is you having more relationships around you that are really loving I see some of you maybe moving homes, moving to a bigger home. I see some of you maybe getting some pets or some of you traveling around an area where there are a lot of animals, lots of nature, where you really feel in tune with the universe. I don't know. Or some of you, I see some of you traveling for work, but it's like, I see you earning some kind of celebration here with the Three of Cups in your work because it's like the compassion and healing you do on yourself influences this transformation in you where you are more aligned to your purpose and I see you kind of putting love into what you do, into your work and if you're not in a career that is like that, then I see that maybe shifting for you where you go into a, a new career where you are more in tune with doing something you love. And I see you pouring your heart out into what you do. And I see this creating big change, big growth, fast paced movement with the chariot card and you earning some kind of celebration where you are recognized for the the work you've put in and I see you kind of some of you maybe this causes the travel to happen where maybe you get a raise with the queen of pentacles or you you get more money or you are growing in your career where they are not paying for your travel for example and you're enjoying it um so something along those lines is what I'm seeing. I think it's going to play out differently for all of you. But I just see the focus of after August is moving into your career, but also your relationships. And I see celebrations happening for both areas of your life. And I see a lot of travel. I see a lot of fun. I see you finding or being closer to your purpose. And... These series of events of healing allow you to find that. You finding that fire within you, finding passion to life again, feeling happy, feeling blissful. And I see your relationships becoming more joyful, becoming more sweet, becoming more loving, maybe even meeting soul family members. For some of you, I even see you traveling, moving homes overseas and maybe the career space is much better where you move to. 
So for example, let's say you do really well in your current career and they ask you or they give you an option to move somewhere else in the world where you have a lot more opportunity to grow in your career and it's fast paced growth or movement. And then we see this queen of pentacles energy of you really expanding and transforming in your finances and your money. So I see you really gaining the sense of wealth for life. And I don't just mean physical wealth. I'm Yes, I see abundance, but I also see this wealth for life, this joy for life. This In all your cards, we see rainbows. This rainbow after the storm energy of you really enjoying life and seeing life as a celebration. And I see that's what the end of the year looks like, where you are really celebrating and you're really happy and you've achieved something and you've poured your heart into it, but you've also poured your heart into your connections around you. Moving to a bigger home or traveling, it's like your world has become bigger around you. And I'm seeing the internal shifts create an external shift in your reality, in your physical world where things around you are changing. And Spirit is showing me maybe you were once a fish in a little tank. But now towards the end of the year, you are a fish exploring this huge tank with a lot of things to explore. And I see this new beginning energy. Like I said, a new book where you now have new characters. You now have new environments, new sceneries, new series of events. And it's bigger and it's brighter. So this is what I see in your reading for the rest of the year for you. And the last guidance I will say for the rest of the year after the healing is to just enjoy this you deserve this you enjoy everything that is given to you from the universe and you open up your heart to beautiful new experiences and know that you are deserving of this you are worthy of this that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, so this was your reading. I really hope that this resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose this amethyst crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your rest of the year predictions and guidance so from the month july 2023 to the month december 2023 and we're going to be taking a look at the events that take place during that time but also we are going to be looking at guidance your spirit guides have for you for the rest of the year so you pick the card realm bridger i'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards but before i do please be aware that this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching but to also be aware if I say anything you do not like. The future is never set in stone. It is merely a guideline to see where we go towards. And we always have the power to change what happens in the future with our actions now. So I'm going to go ahead and add your cards and let's see what shows up for your rest of the year. Okay, so for your cards we have our ancient future. Interesting that this is coming up in your reading. We have Shine Your Light. We have Harmonic Flight. We have Gracious Receptivity. I want to say some of you may be from Pile 1. So, of course, this pile is an energy of its own. However, some of you may be from pile one. And if you are from pile one, then this may be a continuation of pile one's reading. Whereas if you're not, this is your own reading in its own essence. But I do see some similarities to pile one. 
But basically what I can say, my pile number twos, I feel like you have already gone through most of the series of events that happened within pile one's rest of the year. So you are already in alignment for this for the rest of the year. Do you get what I mean? So if you are from pile one and you're watching this, this is a continuation of what happens after the rest of the year. And if you are watching this for pile two only, then this is what's happening for you for the rest of the year. I hope I'm making sense with that. So like I said, if you're from pile one, this is what happens after the rest of the year because those series of events still needed to happen for pile one, which was basically healing. And if you are only watching pile two, then this happens for you the rest of the year from July 2023 to December. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just noticing a lot of similarities like here with the crown because I said to pile one, they are being crowned by the universe and I see the same message for you. And I see something here with the realm bridger and our ancient future. Um, I see your future self as a guide to you here, letting us see a sneak peek into the future. And um, I think for you, my pal number twos, I may see further into the rest of the year and may like your future self from years from now, maybe showing us a sneak peek into what the rest of the year brings to your future, if that makes sense. So it's a very big reading for you, my pal twos. We have the Hierophant. And I think it's always exciting to get a sneak peek into the huge future because usually Spirit doesn't show like years into the future. So this lets me know whatever is happening is huge that your future self wants to share with you today. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, nice. We have the Fool card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And lastly, we have the Queen of Wands. I love that for you, my pile twos. Okay, my pile number twos, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what's happening in your rest of the year predictions. As said in the intro, the future is never set in stone, so this is merely used as a guideline to see what steps future you takes and how that kind of ends out. So know that the future is never set in stone. You can always have a possibility to change it and influence it with the decisions you make now. Okay, so I also want to say um, if the reading <laughs> is a little bit dark, because I had light for pile one, but I'm recording this and my electricity went off, so I'm using natural lighting. So if it's a little bit dark, I'm really, really sorry. I'm in South Africa so I have load shedding and basically what that is is they switch off the electricity for the whole country for like a few hours each day so I'm really sorry if the reading is a little bit dark um, but what I do see ha happening for your rest of the year it's very exciting what I see happening and as I mentioned I see some similarities to pile one but I feel like the series of events that happened in pile one's rest of the year, I feel like you have already gone through most of those series of events. So I, I see a new beginning taking place here with the full card and not just a new beginning. A, it's like maybe you are in the last chapter of the book you are writing right now for your life, but this new beginning is like a whole new book with new characters, maybe some old characters still that you still want to keep, uh, new, new environments, new scenarios, new situations, 
and it's full of newness and something about this new beginning is huge that it influences your future self years from now and I'm not just talking about years from now I'm talking about many 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 years from now when you are let's say 15 20 years from now it's still influencing that in a big beautiful way okay so I see your future self coming through here as a guide letting us have a little bit of a sneak peek into how these series of events of what happens from July 2023 to the end of the year influences your future self okay so it's very exciting very very exciting so what I do see happening and I feel this has been happening since the beginning of the year or since last year for most of you. I feel like most of you have been going through deep healing in your healing journey. Uh, you've been learning a lot of lessons and it's like you've been bringing yourself to wholeness. You've been, you've been growing as a soul. You've really been growing and spirit is showing me the lotus flower. So the lotus flower starts off as a seed in the mud and the mud is representation of darkness. Um, it's not always bad, but maybe the things we go through in life that are really stressful situations. And later on, the lotus seed grows into the water and the water is a representation of the healing that takes place after stressful or rough situations in our life where things feel like um, spirits showing me a diamond being made from pressure where things feel like we're being put under a lot of pressure and I see the healing taking place with the water and then it's like after that I feel this is what's happening now to you. You grow into this beautiful and bloom into this beautiful lotus flower. And the lotus flower, even the sun comes out now. <laughs> I was praying for sun, like for real, <laughs> for the natural lighting to bring sun in. But I see this as like, I see this as like, even with the sun coming out, it's a physical manifestation of what I'm saying. It's like you start to bloom as a person. You start to transform as a person. And I feel that is happening right now. And you've been learning major, major lessons and major, major wisdom about yourself here with the Hierophant. And I feel your future self is a guide to you secretly. And your future self is letting you know this that your future self has always been a guide to you you know in those movies when uh spirit is showing me i don't know why they're showing me family guy when they went was it family guy they went back to the past to warn past self to not do something because i think something was gonna happen um I can't remember exactly what happened in that episode, but it was like they went from the future to the past to warn themselves of something. So I don't know why Family Guy showed up. Maybe that's a show you like for some of you. I don't know. Or maybe you just needed that little bit of a funny message from your future self because... If you feel drawn to watching that episode, then maybe. But I don't feel like it has anything to do with the episode. Because they're not really showing me the contents of it. Just like as a joke, like your future self is your guide. Like a, like your future self comes to you and warns you about things that you're not supposed to do. That lead to a series of events. Or your future self comes to you and gives you wisdom and it's been happening most of your life here as we see wisdom codes going into her brain. So it's like your future self has led off of not telling you this until now. Or maybe you've known or maybe you've felt it. But I feel your future self feels you're ready to know now that your future self is also a guide to you. And this may sound a little bit confusing, but... 
we as humans are multidimensional. We're spiritual beings experiencing a human life. But we are multidimensional in soul. And, and when you think of the spiritual realms, time does not exist. So I see it's like your future self is a guide to you and has always been a guide to you, leading you to wisdom, showing you intuitively what to do in order to bloom and transform. As we see here, a little bud here and then this flower blooming. So you may actually receive a lot of dreams from your future self in your waking life or a lot of intuitive messages here with the realm bridger that help you grow. As we see here, a little plant growing. The future self's messages breathe life into you here with the flower of life in the spiritual realms. With the moon here helps you see messages intuitively, helps you see into the intuitive realms in order to take the steps that are needed and gain the wisdom that is needed to take these steps, breathes life into you with the flower of life and helps you grow and transform with the butterfly here. And pile one also had the butterfly. So I feel you are in your transformation stage right now since this is the first card right now already until june you well Ju july until july um and then july it's like the transformation has already take place and we're moving to the new beginning energies so this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing it's like it's already taking place now before the rest of the year and it's like your future self is saying you've actually undergone healing and an evolution of your soul much quicker than other humans on earth because your future self has been guiding you. So if you've ever felt like, how do I just know what things to do without realizing what I must do? You must be my intuitive pile. <laughs> um, it's because your future self has been guiding you all along and has been sending you the messages in order to assist you and it's really cool to see i'm hearing like you know when people make those reels and they're like if you could tell your younger self something right now what would you tell them and spirit is showing me a vision i am part of this pile i don't know why i'm telling you this but spirit is showing me this because the one day i sat and i saw a vision of my future self sending me a message but i had no idea why and it's like, you know, those people when they make reels and they're like, if you could tell yourself, your younger self something right now, what would you tell them? And I'm hearing like, don't date that guy. <laughs> so it's like your future self has been guiding you and has been loyal to you all this time, guiding you being like, don't date that guy. Don't go down there. Don't make this decision. Make this decision. For example, let's say you did something intuitively without realizing why you did it. Then later on you realized and it's like, wow, you know, that kind of energy. I, I don't know what example to use. Spirit, please give me a light example of the energy. Okay, Spirit is giving me a silly light example. So let's say one day you are taking a walk in a park and you see a dandelion and you're like, oh, let me make a wish. <laughs> and you wish for something in the back of your mind, but you don't realize why you're wishing for it. Let's say you wish for a new car, for example. And you get this new car later on. But this car maybe helps you travel to work that you never knew you would get. And it's like that wish you made influenced that. But you never knew you were going to get a new job. You get what I mean? That's like something I'm seeing. That's an example. And right now I'm getting a phone call. So something about like, maybe that's a sign for you. I don't know. But that's what I have from like what your future self is telling me. Like your future self has always been a guide to you. And you have been someone that has outgrown a lot of people in your life because you are someone that grows and blooms and transforms at a fast pace because your future self has been guiding you and I feel the healing you've been doing this metamorphosis of self 
is you transforming and blooming as a person and reclaiming your power, healing yourself and bringing yourself to wholeness. And I see this as like you awakening to your potential and your power and who you're meant to be in this lifetime. And it's like all the healing you've done has given you some level of wisdom here with the Hierophant. And this wisdom that you have learned already till now is going to influence this new beginning. Do you get what I mean? And that's what your future self is letting you into today. Um, so I do see a lot of series of events happening after this transformation takes place. But I just want to see what the guidance is from your guides for this last bit of healing. So I'm getting the message from your future self that time is not running out. That you are going to be open to many new beautiful experiences in this new beginning. To enjoy the journey. Um, Spirit is making me hear a song I don't exactly know what the song like words are but I watched this series a few like last year or something and I forgot what the series name was but there was this animal helping this little girl and the animal took in the little girl as her own like as her own child because I don't know I don't know like it was a long story but anyways the animal was taking care of this little baby girl and she was singing to this little baby girl like um take take the longer path and enjoy the journey just like when they say when you're traveling by car take the longer path and take the 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 route with more scenery you may take longer to get there but you're going to enjoy the scenery more I'm not seeing your, your future self say take the longer path, but more so enjoy the journey. It's like she sings to the little girl, basically something like that. Like enjoy the journey, stop and smell the roses. And um, it's not a rush to get to a destination. It's, it's about enjoying the journey. And that's your future self's guidance to you right now in this new beginning time is not running out you're going to get everything you are wishing for but it's like whatever is happening our guides know what is best for us in the moment because they can see further than we can and it's like everything that has been happening your future self is letting you know has been leading you to the path of where you want to be so some series of events happen like a domino effect in order to lead us to new beginnings and we don't always see why it's happening in the moment but later on we're like oh that had to happen because of that and I'm seeing it's like your future self is letting you know the wisdom you've learned and you going deeper into your intuition has helped you greatly and is going to help your new journey but also Enjoy the journey. Time is not running out. Stop and smell the roses and enjoy this newness that is coming in. And you may go through a spiritual awakening now to June, July. And a lot of the things that are going to come out, it's like a lot of healing is happening. And it's like the things that have, the things that are going to come out is going to take a lot of courage to surrender to those feelings. Because it's like, Spirit is saying you're taking the trash out of your emotions. And it's like, you're going into the deep trenches of your soul, of what has been there that you didn't quite have the strength to look at before but now you do because you've healed a lot and now it's like the last bit of healing and it's like that is going to lead you towards this next journey and the guidance from your future self is just to take care of yourself right now to be compassionate with yourself 
to allow yourself to surrender to whatever you're feeling right now and to just take care of yourself mind body soul until you are in this new beginning energy until you have bloomed and transformed don't put too much pressure on yourself right now because this is leading to something great where you are going to receive something beautiful from the universe or many beautiful blessings from the universe towards July to the end of the year. So that is the guidance I see and to go more into your intuition over these next few months because that is going to help you greatly. I see what is happening towards after that, after the transformation and blooming takes place within your soul, I see you kind of healing from the inside out. And that example I made of like a diamond being made from pressure, that's what I see happening to you, my palm number twos. You are becoming a diamond under pressure um, from the healing. And then after that healing takes place, you go through some type of awakening, activation, spirit activating parts of your soul or your future self activating wisdom and parts of your soul that allow you to, to take the steps that are necessary on this new beginning and on this new journey and then I see you mustering up courage and strength and I see something significant happening within August where you courageously take a leap of faith towards something new within your career with the ace of pentacles it could even happen sooner as i give this message and as you take the wisdom towards that but what i do see happening is you taking some type of leap of faith or first step towards something new within your career so for some of you i feel maybe this is a promotion or a new position within your career and it's going to be something you love since it's opposite harmonic flight we see the energies of love um if you are currently at a career that you currently love it could be in the same career just a new position or a higher position it's some kind of opportunity here for money with the ace of pentacles or maybe you move countries because that's what I said to Pa One and the energies are very similar. It seems like a similar series of events happening Pa One and Pa Two, but different timing. Do you get what I mean? So you are, I wouldn't say much further ahead of Pa One, but you're ahead of your time. You're ahead of most souls on your journey because your future self is guiding you telepathically. So I see it's like the new beginning takes place and you go towards a new opportunity within your career. Some of you could even be moving countries where you take a position in another country and it pays you much more and you're feeling very passionate about this offer with the Queen of Wands and you're receiving some type of great blessing from the universe with a beautiful new beginning here and the Six of Pentacles is a, uh, uh, is a generous kind of blessing from the universe usually i see this card as generosity but since we have gracious receptivity here i see it's like the universe is crowning you with something and it's right opposite the queen of wands crowning you with blessings and allowing you to shine from the inside out and you've become that diamond out of pressure and it's like the universe gives you great blessings and is generous with you because of the healing you've done and because you're ready to now receive these blessings. So I see one aspect of it happening greatly within your career where it's, it's some kind of courageous step towards something new. Um, like I said, some of you travel, some of you it's a new position within the same career like a raise or a promotion where you have more opportunities of growth and where you really see potential in yourself to grow some of you it could be a new career completely a new career change completely and i don't feel for a lot of you it is a leap of faith like you going blindly into it i see it more so you taking baby steps towards that and creating that and seeing your own potential and 
taking courageous small steps towards that, depending on where you're at right now. So I see the kind of like energies here. It may take a lot of courage to take the first steps towards this, but I see for some of you, it's like some of you are going into a new career completely, a new career change completely where your guides are intuitively telling you to do this and intuitively telling you to go towards something you love and something you are passionate about with the Queen of Wands and you're going to receive a lot of blessings from the universe and it's like your future self is urging you to go towards this and trusting your intuition with what you feel it is, with what you're passionate about but also something you love. And it's going to bring in opportunities for money and growth. And it may not be an instant gratification of growth. It may take some time to go towards there. But if you plan now and you do the work now, you can actually make it happen quicker than I see your future self making it. Do you get what I mean? So I'm not going to give you a timeline for this because I feel like this is going to happen much quicker if you take this advice and plan now and ponder on it now and think think with your intuition but also your logic is the advice I see here from your future self. I see some of you are my intuitive pile and I see some of you going into a career path where you are using your intuition in some way or healing others with wisdom in some way with the Hierophants, some type of wisdom you've learned. Some of you are becoming tarot readers, starting tarot reading businesses, or some of you may take a courageous leap of faith to start a YouTube channel, TikTok, where you are doing tarot readings and sharing your wisdom in some way. Or for some of you, I see it being in an area of healing or like life coaching is something I'm hearing or like psychology where you are using your intellect and your intuition hand in hand or for for others of you if it's not like this with the queen of wands I see for some of you it could be creative or something you are passionate about like a hobby you have so the advice here from your future self is to take the first steps using your intuition but also your intellect and bringing them together to create the path for you. So what I mean by this is let's say you, let's give an example, let's say you intuitively feel I want to start um, a business where I where I create art for example and I paint on a canvas. The advice from your future self is to Trust your intuition with what you feel it is first, but also use your logic to take the steps towards that and your intuition. So let's say you are painting something and you're seeing how it goes. Maybe you're doing it part time first because for some of you, I see like um, for some of you, I see like you're working full time and it's not a possibility right now. The circumstances to completely go into it fully at once and it's like small baby steps you take towards it first because it's like maybe you need some savings to be able to do that and have it run smoothly without feeling stuck or worried or stagnant so I see for some of you it's not a leap of faith but rather small baby steps towards that direction and then your future self thanking you for it in the future and then it's it's not an instant gratification, but it's going to lead you to your growth. And the advice from your future self is to try to save up right now and try to think about what do you need for this new beginning? How much money are you going to need to invest if it's like a business or something you want to create on the side? How much money are you going to need to invest? And um, if it's possible to maybe invest into studying or the steps that are going to be needed to take those steps, you can start doing it now using your logic and intuition hand in hand. So let me go back to my example. Let's say you are starting an art, an art account on social media and you want to sell artworks 
and you're like, okay, I need to come up with a solid plan here. What are my first steps going to be? First, I may need a bunch of canvases and paint and I may need to invest a little bit of money to maybe buy a bulk order so I have enough to make for a few months, right? And then you're going to think, what paint brushes do I need? What paint do I need? Um, what size canvases do I need? Do I need a variety or am I going to be doing big paintings, small paintings? What am I going to be painting? Planning it. And then once that plan is in place, we have everything we need to start. Then we start organizing and making a structured plan. So we are going to maybe make a calendar for the whole month and maybe things we're going to do each day in order to reach our goal and our target with what we have right now. So let's say we can only do it part time because we're working full time. Then we say, okay, I'm going to put one hour or two hours a day, make it reasonable, something I can achieve, something where I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. And I'm going to do a little bit each day and grow into it and then let's say you kind of like okay um i've made out every day this day i'm going to paint this and this and this and maybe it takes three days to finish one painting and then i'm going to have an extra day for like putting it on social media taking photos of it things like that making art prints etc etc and then after four days, I paint a new painting. What am I going to paint here? Just have a rough idea, plan ahead. And then you make the whole month of what you're going to do. And then after that, you're going to also maybe use your intuition with maybe extra things. Like, for example, maybe some of you are very intuitive and you close your eyes and spirit shows you what to paint, for example. That's just an example, but I'm seeing it's like you're going to use your intuition and your logic, your intellect hand in hand. And that is how you are going to succeed and move forward. And I see this leading to whatever this career change is, it may take some courage to take the first few steps and plan towards it. But I see this is going to lead to great growth where the universe is going to reward you with a lot of passion, a lot of new options is something I'm seeing, a lot of endless possibilities when you really plan towards that and put the work towards it now, then you can even make it happen faster. And I see the universe rewarding you with a job that you are passionate about, that you feel like you enjoy, that you feel like there is ever leading passion towards it. And for some of you, I'm seeing that the wisdom you learn now helps you see a new perspective when you start this. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how, but let's say, for example, one of you decide to become tarot readers. And it's like the wisdom you learn from the healing now maybe helps you heal others or helps you with advice for them because you've walked that path. Do you get what I mean? So I see this leading to independence and growth and passion and the universe uh, rewarding you with a job that makes you happy and that makes you passionate about life. And this is going to lead to great growth where the universe is going to be generous with you and the growth that takes you there. It may not be an instant gratification thing of a blessing at first. But it will lead to a lot of blessings where you're going to receive a lot from the universe and you're going to feel like royalty. You're going to feel very rewarded by the universe. So this is what I see happening in your career. But I also see some changes happening within your love life. For those of you that are single, I see you meeting possibly a twin flame here with the harmonic flight card and maybe the twin flame connection influences this new job change in some way for some of you or for others of you if you are currently in a relationship with your twin flame I see your future self letting me know maybe 
there is going to be some new beginning here for you and your twin flame where there is a lot more passion, a lot more joy, a lot more sweetness, where you have more vulnerability with them and love with them. And I see this being a beautiful connection, maybe some transformation or changes happen within your connection that are good changes that truly make you feel like life is beautiful, life is shining towards you, the universe is generously blessing you and it's like maybe you and your future self are like, well I feel it's like you and this twin flame connection are just going to grow together and it's beyond what your mind can think of right now and it's like something that happens here in the connection influences something in your future where maybe you two get married or you two have a deeper commitment some of you moving into homes together deeper commitment something like that if it doesn't happen this year then maybe something that happens here in your relationship where you grow closer together leads to that maybe next year or the year after so that is kind of what I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of events take place in the rest of the year in your love life where there is a lot more deeper love if you're already in a relationship and if you're single where you meet the person and the love grows and it's beautiful and it's vulnerable and it's loving and it's beautiful and later on that leads to more commitment more happiness together more growth together more blessings in your connection maybe even creating something together like creating a family together so your future self is letting me know this that happens in your love life influences your future 15 20 years from now where your future self thanks you for it and you're going to be very in love with your partner so i see this being a long-term partnership for most of you and newfound commitments or your relationship transforming and you guys creating something new together and I see it's like your future self is saying right now see your own potential right now and remember that you are having a huge soul plan for you um, the universe has a huge soul plan for you for your potential to just grow and you are going to reach many beautiful things within your fate and your destiny that we can maybe not understand right now but your future self is letting you know you have great 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 potential my pal number twos and you are going to reach this potential and you are really going to think big about what you can create here in this next journey in this new beginning because this new beginning is going to be full of creation energy you painting the reality you want to live and I just see it being full of love with your partner, like you being devoted to each other, the love being magical, you creating new things together, like maybe moving in together, um, traveling together, moving overseas together. I see a lot of change and transformation happening within your connection for the better and I see your future self saying whatever happens now within your career and your love life is is you're going to see maybe like in five years in four years i'm getting the number four in four years your reality right now and your reality four years from now are going to be completely different for the best for the better and I'm hearing let me upgrade you by Beyonce so it's like your life is going through an upgrade I see a lot of changes happening and I can't exactly tell you what these changes are but I can tell you that what it's going to lead to is more love a more sweeter love you gaining a sense of recognition within your career and being seen in your career you really shining in your career maybe new friendships happen maybe you start traveling I don't know what do you want to create that is the question I hear from your future self what do you want to create because I see it's like your future self can't really tell us what happens 
what change it influences yet but that it's just going to be good but what change happens depends on what you create you get what I mean so I can't really tell you yet but what I can say is you're really going to feel proud of yourself you're going to feel like you're reaching your potential you're going to feel like you're blooming like your life is blooming around you what this changes for you is more love you shining more as a soul you feeling connected to passion and love for life i see you in the future seeing life with such bright colors and seeing life as such a happy place to live in and i see that it, i just see a lot of happiness energy a lot of joy a lot of this rainbow energy a lot of the universe rewarding you with blessings and i just see you shining and feeling loved by the universe and feeling taken care of by the universe feeling like you're royalty like you're royalty literally since we see a crown here and i also see you just feeling more safe more grounded more present in the moment really enjoying the journey that life is and painting your reality the way you want to want it to look like so i'm just seeing like you really being recognized within your career shining within your career and you gaining a deeper love within your love life and romantic life and a lot more opportunities coming to you as a result of the steps you take now. So before I end off, I actually want to just get a little sneak peek because I said I was going to get some type of sneak peek peek for you from your future self. I want to get a little sneak peek with another deck of mine, another tower deck of mine and just see what your future self has to say about this like what it's going to influence because i feel like your future self has said that but i haven't really seen much of it so let's see what shows up now so what is this going to influence for their future self for the rest of the year what is this going to influence for their future self for the steps they take for the rest of the year how is their future self going to really enjoy the beauty of the blessings that come to them. We have the two of pentacles. We have the three of pentacles. So like I said, the universe has a great plan for you that we can't necessarily see now, but it's huge. And you're going to reach your potential and the universe is going to be generous with you with this plan. We see the sun card, so a lot of happiness, like I said. And happiness in this new beginning energy. You really shining, you really following that spark of passion within you, finding passion and joy for life, finding life to be very sweet. We have the Queen of Wands again, you finding independence, you finding a passion for life. You may be becoming more creative, more independent within yourself, but also passion within your career. Courage to really shine and stand out as a person. And that is what I see, you being seen for what you do in your career. We have the three of wands and I also see people recognizing the passion you have. So the three of wands, it's like you take the path towards that and you're feeling much more balanced. We have the three of cups. So some kind of celebration comes from the steps you take on this journey. What kind of celebrations come from this? Can we see a sneak peek into the future, please? We have the Knight of Swords. So fast paced change here with the Knight of Swords. Or whatever celebration is, it's going to happen fast. Maybe it happens at the end of the year or towards beginning of next year. Yeah, Spirit is just letting me know it's happening fast. Can we see a sneak peek into the future of what these celebrations could be? We have the King of Pentacles. So a change within your money where you are becoming more wealthy. Ooh, I love this for you. I'm hearing the word bougie and luxury. 
And it's like you're going to have more wealth than you've ever experienced in this lifetime and you're going to have to learn to work with that money. I'm seeing advice from your future self is to get someone that can teach you how to work with that big amount of money because it's going to be big where you may need an, an accountant is something I'm hearing. We have the Empress here. So you just falling in love with life, falling in love with yourself, falling in love with your partner, feeling like you're flowing in life. Um, I, I just see you maybe even glowing up within your physical looks with the Empress card, you becoming more beautiful, you finding luxury in the world, enjoying luxurious things, you enjoying life. Maybe you want to travel, you have money to travel. Maybe you want to have a wedding with your partner. You're going to have the most beautiful wedding because you can afford a much bigger range of things is something I'm seeing your future self give a sneak peek into. But you also have glowed up internally and externally and your life is going up where you're not even working that hard, your future self, four years from now, where it's like you three years from now, where it's like you just are flowing through life. We see the number 333. Three, three. So it's like the universe is supporting you on this journey. But I hope the sneak peek allows you to see that this is going to be beautiful and sweet and you're really going to enjoy this new beginning, what life has to offer to you. So that was your reading, my pile number twos. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pal number threes. If you chose the citrine crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at your rest of the year predictions. What happens from July 2023 to December 2023 for you? Okay, please be aware that this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest. And the future is never set in stone. So, the future readings are merely a guideline for you to see what steps you take and how it turns out. But the future is never set in stone. We always have the power to create our reality the way we want. Okay, and also, um, I'm sorry if this reading is a little bit dark. I am currently experiencing load shedding. So I live in South Africa where... Every day they switch off our electricity for a certain amount of hours for the whole country and it's to preserve electricity. So I'm just using natural lighting. Apologies if the video footage is a little bit dark, but you chose the card Life Force Energy and I'm excited to see what shows up for your rest of the year predictions, but also guidance. Okay, so for your cards, we have water with the overflow. We have freedom. I love that for you. We have star seer. And lastly, we have Manifestia. I absolutely love this card, so bright. And I'm excited to see what shows up in your reading. I feel this is going to be big for you, my pal threes. We have the World card. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. We have the Sun card. Yeah, big things happening for you this year, my pile threes. We have the Four of Wands. So some kind of celebration here. And we have the Lovers card. Amazing. Okay, my pile number three is now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what is happening for you the rest of the year predictions. 
So I feel this may be my pile of pure souls or magical souls or my pile of people that just see the world with color. Um, that's what I'm feeling straight away or it could be a mixture of you here today um, because I have been noticing a mixture of the energies in each pile lately. I think spirit is just mixing things up. But what I can say about your pile is I do see a lot of exciting things happening for you for the rest of the year. So I see what happens in the beginning of the series of events. I see it's, uh, I see you've been doing a lot of healing on yourself. Um, you've been doing a lot of healing and exploring yourself lately. And I see this has already been happening. And I see it's like you've been really understanding yourself on a deeper level. Who am I? What do I like? What do I dislike? Who do I want to become? Who do I want to grow into? And what are my hobbies? Who am I as a person? And I think you've really been getting to know yourself on a deep level, but you've also been doing a lot of healing work on yourself. So some of you may have been like really letting go of old past cycles. I'm feeling ancestral healing for some of you. And I feel a lot of healing happening right now as we start this reading. Uh, well, from now to like the sixth month, which is uh, June. From now to the sixth month, I see a lot of healing happening. You kind of just getting to know yourself on a deeper level. Some of you may be really working hard on yourself right now on your healing journey, putting in a lot of work and effort to really change and transform as, as a human being and to really get to know who am I, who do I want to be, who do I want to grow into. And I see a lot of this has also been happening in the astral realms while you are asleep. A lot of healing has been happening within the ethers, within the spiritual realms while you sleep. And you getting to know yourself on a deeper level. Like within your dream state, within where you're, where you're not here on earth, you're like in between realms, you know what I mean? And I see the year... Well, the rest of the year starting off as you ending cycles here with the world card. Ending hard cycles and it's like the hard work you've been putting into your growth as a human being is paying off in some way here with the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like this may have been a long journey of healing and getting to know yourself and who you want to be and who you want to grow into. I feel like it's been a sort of long journey, a lot of work you've been doing on yourself. And I see that paying off towards the rest of the year. So I see some of you have been doing talk therapy or have been speaking to someone. I'm seeing the throat chakra here. You've been speaking to someone or journaling or expressing your truth in some way, like your emotions, and that has been healing to you. If you have been doing any of those methods, whereas others of you, I'm seeing within your dream state, it's like spirit transports you to another realm in the ethers where you let out your emotions. So, for example, let's say you have a dream and you're fighting with someone in the dream and it's someone from your past and you're screaming at them. You're letting out all your anger at them. That is you just releasing that emotion in that dream, for example. And it's like the dream state has been putting you into alignment. Whereas a lot of you have also been healing your sacral chakra. Uh, the sacral chakra is our point of confidence within ourself within our sensuality, within our body and who we are. And it's like you've been really working on your self-confidence, but also that place of you that just shines out. And our sacral chakra is responsible for the energy of creation. 
So I see it's like some of you have been doing that, but also some of you have been expressing your truth more, setting boundaries more. So I see by the sixth month, you are being put into alignment by the universe. And the seventh to eighth month, which is July to August, I see a series of events happening that put you into alignment even more towards the things you've been wishing for and manifesting. And I see you finding a place of emotional freedom here um, where you have some of you have also been on a self-love journey where you have really been pouring into yourself, pouring love and healing into yourself. And I see some of you have passed on loved ones that have been helping you transform on this journey. And the transformation you're, you've been doing here with the butterfly, because butterflies are symbols of transformation, helps you be put into alignment to your deepest dreams, wishes and manifestations. And I see from the seventh to eighth month, you are really going to be in that space of confidence, in that space of expressing your truth, um, setting boundaries, speaking your truth, regardless of other people's opinions or their reaction to your boundary or to your truth. It's like you're really going to be in alignment with the energy of creation, of creating your deepest dreams on earth to come true. Because you've ended cycles and you have freed yourself emotionally. Now you are in alignment. I'm seeing all your chakras in alignment and you are in line with the things you want to manifest. And as I say that, the sun is even shining brighter. So that gives me a physical manifestation of your energy. Some of you could be going into more creative things towards the 7th to 8th month, which is July to August. But it makes sense because August is Leo season. So maybe some of you become more creative or take on some type of creative hobby in Leo season. Um, or you are more creative in the way like you're creating your reality as you go along and you're climbing the ladder to success and to celebrations I see here and manifestations and wishes coming true. I don't know what this is that you have been wishing for, that you've been manifesting, that you've been dreaming of my pile threes, but I see like from the seventh to eighth month, the universe giving you this life force energy because three plus four is seven. So from the seventh month, I see July, the universe giving you this boost of life force energy to be able to go after the things you dream and wish for and take the baby steps towards that. And I see you kind of feeling free You've let go of the baggage, the emotional baggage, so now you're feeling free. You're feeling light. You're feeling full of life force energy to go after the things you want to create and the things you dream of. I see you kind of painting your reality with that because I see like this healing you've done has freed you, making more space and room for new beginnings and in the space of new beginnings where we're able to create our reality, endless opportunities are available to us, which is your what, what your guides are letting me know. Endless opportunities are available to us in the space of infinite creation. And you are in alignment with your deepest dreams. And it's like as you take the steps towards that, from the 7th to the 8th month, it's like things just flow much easier. Things are just in alignment with you. You start to notice you take steps towards the path you want to be on. And things are just coming to you. Opportunities are just coming to you where you can reach out and grab them. Like we see in these bubbles here. And with all these star symbolism here. The star here and the star here. Some of you could be gaining some type of opportunity that has infinite growth that allows you to really step into your star qualities in your career. 
So some of you could be seen or recognized in your career as a result of taking the steps towards this. I see you taking the steps from the sixth month in June. Or maybe at least the transformation is causing this to happen. And it's like you're taking steps towards your biggest dreams with the star. It's not just like a dream. It's a big dream that allows you to really shine out as a person. That allows you to get recognition. That allows you to be seen and recognized for your talents and for your star qualities, my pile three, some of you may even become celebrities is something I'm seeing. Or it's a big kind of energy where you are well respected and celebrated by others. Spirit is showing me, you know, like in those movies where there's like a coronation that is held, where someone is becoming a queen or a king. Spirit is showing me it's big like that, like where you are being crowned by the universe and these endless opportunities allow you to create infinite possibilities for the future, for what you want to manifest, for what your biggest dreams are and it's like you're just in the space of creation until the eighth month and then I feel in the ninth month, September, I feel something happening here where you are being gifted by the universe with a lot of opportunities, a lot of big opportunities. This can be things you wish for, things you manifest. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Let's say you wish for a relationship. You could get a relationship by the ninth month and that leads you, maybe you wish to be married, for example, and then that leads to you getting married later on in life or Let's say you wish to do something, for example, creative, because I'm seeing a lot of creative energies with this pile, or you wish to do something with your talents or gifts, and an opportunity comes by in the ninth month after you taking the steps towards that, and it's huge, and it gives you great possibilities of celebration, and the future is looking bright and huge and beautiful. I see some of you traveling with these new opportunities or these opportunities being big where you like are shocked. Your jaw has dropped to the ground. I see some of you getting letters from universities like big universities like Harvard, things like that. Something I'm hearing because Spirit is showing me um, Elle Woods when she gets accepted into Harvard, I think, um, one of those big universities, or that could just be a metaphor for the baby steps and the hard work you've done on your path lead you towards something big, like a big company that has amazing opportunities of growth, or you maybe start to follow your passions and think big and climb the ladder to success for something you really long for, something you really dream of in your future. And let's say you start to paint, for example, and you're an artist and maybe one day you are a famous artist and you are really celebrated. Do you get what I mean? This is a big energy I'm feeling for you, my pal number threes, where you are really seen and admired by the world and celebrated by the world in some way. So this is what I see happening in your career where you are really just using that visionary mindset to pave your own unique path. You're not following anyone. You are the trendsetter. And I feel this is a big energy. It's huge. It's a star quality you are reaching. And the opportunity is just by you where you can grab it. So I see that happening within the ninth month. And whatever this is within your career, a lot of you have very beautiful gifts and talents that you're following, that you're climbing the ladder to success towards. And it's like you're going to manifest your deepest dreams and desires through following these steps. And it's something you've done in past lives before. So that's what I'm seeing. It's something you've gained and achieved in past lives as well and if you've done it in a past life before guess what you can do it again 
<laughs> like, for example, I'm hearing some of you are like artists with the sun card. You're very creative. And maybe you were a famous artist in a past life. You get what I mean? That's the feeling I get. Your energy is huge, my pile threes. You're meant to really stand out and shine in this lifetime. Very similar to pile two, but different in a way. And it's like the universe has rewarded you with this life force energy to be able to go out there and create your deepest dreams to come true. So you just can grab it. And I see a lot of financial freedom coming as a result of this. Um, maybe not immediately, but I see it happening for you at least maybe the end of the year or something along those lines or next year. Um, I see you just feeling in love with life. I really see that. By, by the 12th month December, you are going to be feeling in love with life. Like life and the universe is blessing you and you're just feeling in love with life. Feeling in love with yourself. Feeling in love with life in front of you. Feeling truly, truly happy. And feeling playful and feeling happy with the sun cards. Four of Wands, celebrations. This is just such a happy energy. It's the energy where you are happy and you're jumping up and down with joy. That is the feeling I get here. And it's like you are really going to be shining like a star. And for some of you that have passed on loved ones, I feel a mother or grandmother figure here giving these messages. And saying that you have really unique, beautiful gifts and talents that can really transform the world in some way. Know that you're not for everyone. Not many, not everyone will like you gaining this type of success because this is a huge type of success. You may not gain it by the end of the year, but it's leading towards that, towards celebrations here. Some people may not like you gaining this type of success, but you're not for everyone. But those that are right for you and those that are going to appreciate you and admire you and see you shine are going to really praise you for that and congratulate you for that. And I see that happening. A lot of focus within your career and within you shining like a soul. Um, I also see something about you just also slowing down at some point, maybe by December-ish or November. It's like you've maybe made some money here with the Nine of Pentacles or been blessed by some type of money with the Nine of Pentacles and you're able to have fun now with that money with the Sun card. So maybe you get a promotion or a raise or a big bonus at the end of the year that allows you to have fun, maybe go on holiday and celebrate, something like that. I'm seeing something with travel or celebrating in December, November, around that time. I see a lot of celebrations there where you're just really slowing down and enjoying life around you and feeling like you're in love with life, okay? And your ancestors now are letting me know the guidance they have for you is to enjoy this, that you in, that you deserve this, that you're totally worthy of this and that you deserve to be spoiled by the universe and you deserve to have your biggest dreams and wishes come true. But I'm also seeing something happen within your love life. So those of you that are single, I see you either meeting a person that you are going to one day marry with the lovers and four of wands. Since these cards are next to each other, the four of wands in a love reading represents marriage. I see if you're single, you're going to meet your marriage partner this year and this is the person you're going to get married to and perhaps have kids with if that's what you choose to do, if you choose to have kids. Or there is some kind of deep commitment here, deep long-term connection where it's like everything you've wished for in a partner, what you've manifested to come true and you're really celebrating, feeling happy. Um, and if you are currently in a relationship, then I see maybe you getting married by the end of the year or getting engaged or gaining some type of deeper commitment with this person, like moving in together 
or moving overseas together, um, something along those lines. It's something you will celebrate within your within your love connection, but you're also going to notice a lot of focus. I'm feeling Libra season. Um, let me just see when that is. September 23rd to October 22. I'm seeing something regarding Libra season is going to be very significant for your relationships and connections where your relationships are just being filled by happiness and joy by the universe and by this magical energy here with the unicorn. This magical, playful, loving energy, happy, celebrative energy. And whatever is happening here within your relationships and your career is big. It's something you're going to celebrate and feel really happy for. Okay, so this is what I see the series of events happening within your year. The guidance from your guides is to take the baby steps towards that, towards these dreams and these goals and desires and what you manifest and really long for. What you manifest and long for or wish for is going to be different for all of you. Focus on the baby steps in front of you. See this as a path for great opportunity for the universe to really reward you and spoil you, for infinite things to be created, for your dreams to be created. Know that you're worthy of that happening. You've done it before in past lives. You can do it again. Forge your own unique path. Be yourself. Let yourself shine in your unique qualities and traits and let your visionary energies come out where you really think big about your ideas and the things you want to do and take the steps there. I'm hearing don't tell anyone about your dreams until they come true. Okay, don't tell anyone about the steps you're taking towards your dreams until they come true and you will be that trendsetter. You're not going to follow anyone. You're going to create your own unique path. Many may not understand this path you are taking, but it is divinely guided and sent to you by the universe. And you are hungry for this change, for this manifestations to come through. My stomach even started growling now as I said you're hungry for that. <laughs> I growled again. <laughs> I love this for you, my pile threes, but that is the advice I see from your guides and your ancestors that you're totally worthy of this, to really enjoy this, to really believe that it is possible to create what you wish for, okay? And I see a lot of things happening where you're really going to feel in love with life around you. So before we end off, I am curious to see what is going to be manifesting for you as a result of this. What are the celebrations going to be? Let's see quickly what you're going to be manifesting. It may be different for everyone. And when I say specifically wish for every one of you watching this, you have been wishing for something. I see it coming true or at least starting you taking the steps towards that by the end of the year. So let's see what what manifestations are coming true for my pile number threes by the end of the year. What manifestations are coming true for my pile number threes by the end of the year? We have the world card again. So maybe you've been really wanting to start a new cycle and end a karmic cycle. So I see that happening, confirmation of that with the world again, right under the world in two different tarot decks. Is that amazing? We have the fool with new beginnings, new bright possibilities and new beginnings. Okay, we have the ten of pentacles. So something related to family, home, connections, long-term connections, but Ten of Pentacles can also be generational wealth, okay? Where maybe you even move into a bigger home or move overseas into a home that is really beautiful and you love it. And generational wealth. 
We have the Four of Wands, celebrations, marriages, commitment. I see marriage for some of you by the end of the year, or at least getting engaged. We have the Eight of Pentacles, so whatever hard work you've done right now to the end of the year is paying off in celebrations, in maybe wealth, in rewards from the universe. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so yes, wealth, rewards from the universe, um, raises, promotions, blessings from the universe, physical blessings in your wealth and money for the things you've worked hard for. What celebrations are happening for my pile number threes by the end of the year? We have the Queen of Cups, so I just see you feeling a lot more compassionate to yourself and to those around you and a lot more in that nurturing energy okay or at least maybe you have that towards you where other people are being like that towards you being really loving towards you we have the star so what you're really going to celebrate is these beautiful qualities and traits in you shine out you shine like a star you may be recognized within your career, like I said earlier. And your guides are saying, don't worry about this. Don't worry about people being jealous or people like not liking it. Don't worry about it. That's, that's a reality you're leaving behind is something I'm hearing. Where you really shine and are admired for what the hard work you put in. Okay. And your beautiful, unique qualities and traits are shining out within your career. What makes you you shines out, is making you shine out. What celebrations are happening for pile three? We have the devil. Okay. The page of cups. So things that happened to you are no longer a part of your reality in childhood. So if you had a lot of people, for example, be critic criticizing to you in childhood, it's not happening while you're shining like a star. Or if you had a lot of people bully you or be nasty to you in childhood, it's not happening again. Or in your early formative years with the page card, it's not happening in this reality. So that is what you're celebrating because it's been healed. The cycle has ended with the world card. And then we have the sun. So you are going to be feeling very happy with the celebrations that come from the universe. And I think some of you already intuitively know what these blessings and manifestations are. That the universe is going to be generously rewarding you with. Know that you deserve this. You deserve this happiness. You deserve this happy new beginning for you to really shine. And to really feel in love with life around you. This is what I see in your reading, my pile number threes. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!